Hello again, it's Chrissy, your life skills educator. I'm here for the second part of our self-esteem brief. We are on pillar five of the six pillars of self-esteem. The fifth one is the practice of living purposefully. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> so living purposefully is related to our goals and our values and our core beliefs, but specifically values will relate to the direction our life should be headed in and goals will be the markers we pass along the way. Okay. So if I have a goal, for example, of maybe staying in the military until retirement, um, I will want to pass certain milestones along that way. Maybe getting a good fit rep, maybe getting some additional qualifications, maybe attending additional training, um, picking up some collateral duties. Those will be the goal marks that we pass along the way towards that value. Um, and actually the value of staying into retirement would be a goal. The uh, value that would be related to that would be something like industry. I wanna be known for doing a good job at what I do or having a commitment to a specific organization. Um, so making sure that you live purposefully, people who live purposefully set goals regularly maintain them and surpass them. So that means also that you can't have a goal that is so far in the future that you can't be regularly checking in on it. So think too about maybe some micro steps to goals that you could have, um, thinking like, well, I would really like to uh, be more connected with my children, so I'm going to set aside 10 minutes a day for each of my children doing an activity of their choice. And that's an attainable goal. It might not be something that you can accomplish every single day, but this could be something that you could have. If you're on deployment, for example, this could be I'm going to spend 10 minutes a day to reach out to my family or to write a letter or to uh, do something um, in a unique way to reach out to them. And that's those are just some examples of how we can set goals that will lead towards our value. All right, the last one that we have is the practice of personal integrity. So personal integrity is related to some of the other ones we talked about. But what we're really talking about here is living again towards your beliefs, your values, and the um, guides that you set for yourself, but you are acting in them consistently in everything you do. It doesn't always have to be about self-assertiveness where I see something that I don't agree with and I have to tell other people that I don't agree with that. That would be when you feel like you're backed into a corner, um, stating your boundaries with relationships. But personal integrity means that I do what is towards my core values and what I feel um, is directing me in the way that I want my life to be moving all the time. So even when I'm on my own, even when I'm with a group, even when I'm with my significant other, my kids, I live to, the pra to practice personal integrity at all times. And this also has a lot of correlation to how we, what our relationship is with uh, the truth, um, how we kind of relate to others if we're living towards a truthful, honest life. Um, so those are the six pillars for self-esteem. I think that they do relate when you're talking about um, bringing them all together. Um, if we feel like one of those areas is weak, we might be experiencing um, lower self-esteem, okay? All right, I'm gonna come back for one more video. I'm gonna just change my board up for the Joe Harry window. And this is just an idea of how you can get a little bit more self-awareness, which can be really important for understanding yourself and then having more self-esteem. So I'll see you for the next section. Bye.